Hi friends, today I wanted to walk you through a very interesting series of blogs by Chip Huven. Uh, uh, she, she is a, she's a co-founder of a machine learning startup that works on real-time machine learning. And she has previously worked at a bunch of companies like NVIDIA, Netflix, Snorkel AI, etc. And she also teaches a couple of graduate level courses, especially her very popular course on machine learning system design at Stanford. This is one of the rare machine learning system design courses that we have seen at the top universities of the world. It's a very well designed course also. And what I wanted to get your attention to is if you go to Chip Huen's blog, you can find her blog at uh, huyenchip.com, huenchip.com. Very nice series of personal blogs. And within this, if you go to the blog section here, it will take you to this page. So she writes a bunch of very interesting blogs about real world implementation specific and system design aspects of machine learning. For example, recently, uh, just yesterday, I was reading this blog about data distribution shifts and monitoring. Very nice blog about all the real world challenges in distribution shifts and how to monitor your model, data, metrics, etc. Very nice blog. And this is also inspired from the course that she teaches at Stanford, which is CS2, uh, sorry, 329S machine learning system design. So very nice blog. Again, this is a work in progress, but it, the good thing about the blog is it handles all of the real world cases that people encounter. Again, many of these cases we have covered in our course videos and live sessions, but if you want everything in one place, this is a great blog to follow. Again, not just this, she has also written earlier blogs about real time machine learning and about Kubernetes, machine learning compilers, a bunch of very interesting things. And most of these are about real world implementation of machine learning systems based on, based on her own experiences. Also, if you go to her blog, there is a resources page here. So if you go to resources, there are a bunch of resources that she points to. One of them is her own book, which is called Designing Machine Learning Systems, which was published just six months back. So uh, I, I went through parts of the book. I did, I haven't finished the whole book, but it's a very good read. And if you're interested in machine learning system design, or if you are a, a architect, or if you're a senior working professional with, let's say a decade of experience, and you want to become better at machine learning system design, or if you're a data scientist already with a few years of experience, and you want to become better at machine learning system design, this book is a, is a solid book from which again, this book is not just theoretical, it's very, very practical based on her own experiences in the job and also by reading a lot of other technical blogs and also from her teaching experience at Stanford, right? So very nice book. Also, she has a nice booklet, uh, which is called Machine Learning System Design. If you click on it, it will take her, take, 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 take you to this page. Again, it's a nice series of blogs, fairly straightforward stuff. Again, most of it, some of the people who are already working in machine learning might already know, but it's a good read just to make sure that you have everything in place, right? So also some of these resources are super useful. These are resources about feature engineering, some of her lecture notes, uh, lecture slides and videos of stuff that she teaches at Stanford. Again, all in all, a very good resource. So for those of you who are looking to spend a weekend or maybe in the next week or two, reading up about some interesting blogs about real world machine learning and real time machine learning with extremely low latencies, Chip Huen's blog is a terrific place. This is one of the blogs that I constantly follow. As soon as she writes a blog, I get a, uh, I get a recommendation. I also, uh, I also read up as much as possible from her blog. So great resource for those of you who are looking at improving the knowledge of system design, especially in relation to machine learning and data science. I hope you'll enjoy reading her blog and the other resources that she has on her blog.